Hello and welcome to Kedrick Farms. We're back with another episode of Lincoln Creek, Nebraska. And we've been uh, off for a little while here, but we're getting back into things here on the farm. And we've had the grain dryer running a little bit. I've been trying to empty uh, things out whenever I'm up in the yard here. We've still got... Uh, almost 400 bushels of corn in this semi right now so we're gonna go ahead and just kind of keep emptying things into here as we get a chance it looks like the augers all backed up and we're running things into the corn dryer here if we take a quick look at the corn dryer we're pretty much full up we do still have some propane that we're working our way through here and we're starting to back up on the output which is uh, a good spot to be in. If we jump into our grain truck here, it is all filled up as well. So we're gonna go ahead and get this thing unloaded as long as we're up in the yard here. We're starting to get a nice little pile of uh, dry corn here in our bin. And I'm kind of curious to see exactly how many bushels we've managed to move over there at this point. So we're gonna get this uh, backed up here, get everything set up and unloading. Always got to get the uh, auger tractor on and running here. Get everything dumping up into the bins. Seems to be running well today. If we come over here, it looks like we've got a few hundred thousand liters of uh, dry corn going in here. If we come into the menu here, I believe we can actually see the bushels of dry corn. I think that... Uh, Community Extension Mod is converting everything over for us as we put things into the bins. So we've got almost 7,000 bushels of dry corn here already. Most of our corn is in a wet status, however, in the uh, going through the dryer process here. So we've got to wait and get all of that pushed through before we're going to get a good handle on how much total dry corn we're gonna have to sell here. And so we're just gonna keep this truck parked under here to act as a buffer. We're already putting a few more bushels into it here. And so as long as we're here, we'll make sure we got the dryer emptying out into the grain truck. Should be able to toss a few hundred more bushels into this grain truck. And if we jump out here to field 50, we were able to finish up all of the tillage out here in this field since last episode. And so I think it makes sense to go ahead and get this tractor headed down to our other corn field. Field, uh, what is that, 68 in the corner there that we're working on baling right now? Oh, uh, that's going to be the next field that needs uh, tillage here. So we're going to get this piece of equipment brought down there. And we're also going to go get the quad track hooked up to our other tillage implement and get both of those brought down to field 68 because the goal today is to get enough of that baling done that we're going to be able to get started in on the tillage. So with our other tractor heading down, we're going to get this quad track out of the shed here and we're just going to leave this grain cart in the shed for the time being. We've got a little bit of maintenance work to do on all of this equipment. We're going to just uh, focus on getting tillage moving here. We've got a lot of uh, acres to cover down there in field 68. It's going to take us a few hours to get that work all done. And so we're going to try and speed that up by using double the implements. Now, unfortunately, these implements are different widths, so I'm not going to be able to use course play when we get this down there. Uh, I'm going to have to probably just use a standard worker, which is probably okay uh, now that I'm thinking about it for tillage. It's a pretty square field. We're just going to have these guys start uh, on either end. We'll probably run the headlands up manually, so uh, we'll figure it out. So we'll get this guy going down there, and uh, let's jump down there and see how the baler's doing, actually. Our baler is, it looks like, about halfway done. He hasn't done the headland pass on the other side or hasn't gotten to this end of the field and uh, stopped working yet so we're not quite done yet we're still we're still bailing here i can't quite see him but we're gonna go ahead and pick up another round of bales and i'm expecting any minute now he's gonna get done with the first half of this two vehicle course and we're gonna set him off on the other half which means he'll do the headlands first and we'll be able to hop in one of these two implements and start uh taking the headlands off with the tillage to make our lives easier with the hired help. My hope is to just hire one of the workers on the west side of this field 
and get them to start working their way uh, in once we've got the headland passes off. And hopefully the bailer can get ahead of us fast enough that we're able to start the other worker off here somewhere in the middle of the field. Several people have suggested that I could have the auto load bale trailer here running on the same course play course as the baler and just offset it by a few meters to run alongside and then when he gets full he would stop um, that's actually a really great suggestion however i find that i'm able to fill this trailer up so fast running down the rows once uh, i think it takes one and a half rows to fill this trailer up that it's almost easier to do it manually and then i just run it back over here to the road toss it on the auto drive course and go back to what I'm doing. And it looks like our baler has actually finished what he was doing here. Uh, he's on the wrong end of the field. And so I'm going to run him back down to the other end of the field and get him started on the other side of the course here. So rather than one left, we're going to do one right. And we should be able to get this guy kicked off here just before our implements show up. I don't believe I've seen any indication that our implements are here. The quad track is just about to come down here. All right, our baler is off to do his thing. All right, so we've got the quad track up here on field 68. Let's go ahead and get this thing unfolded. We're going to have to pick up these bales on the headland, I think, before we can really get going with this. But as always, I'm curious just to make sure that we've got everything all set up here correctly. And so we are going to take this first pass down to the corner here. We're going to hug the grass to make sure we're not missing any uh, tidbits here. And looking good. This is one of those pieces of tillage I didn't get a chance to use a whole lot yet. And uh, I'm really liking this mod. It works out uh, really, really well. And so I think my plan is going to be once uh, the bale trailer gets back here and we can pick these bales up to take probably four passes with this narrower implement off of the headlands to give us plenty of room to turn around here. And then we're probably just going to hire an in-game worker to work from uh, this end of the field in and then we'll just try to stay ahead of him and work on uh, taking these bales off from west to east and if we get far enough ahead of our first tillage tool we'll start the second tillage tool up uh, behind him so I'm gonna get this guy whipped around here and in position to take the next pass off but we're going to jump back over here. I see our pickup truck in the distance here pulling up with the bale trailer. So this is probably as good of a spot as any to leave this guy. We should be able to get quite a few of these bales here on this trailer. I know we can take this headland off, which is going to give us plenty of room to work here with the uh, headlands here for a little bit. We do have one more headland pass with the baler to go here. And so I'm really hoping that Baylor gets kind of around the corner here and headed back onto this second headland pass pretty quickly. The great thing about the square Baylor is it doesn't have to stop. It does slow down just a little bit every time it drops a bale. I would say by the time we get back down here with the truck uh, in order to start taking bales off again, since we're almost full here, uh, he'll have uh, made the second pass, so we'll be able to clean up that other end with the headland and uh, bring the equipment down here to do the headlands. With me running the controls for everything here, that baler's definitely going to stay ahead of us. So with the bale trailer headed back up the other way, let's go ahead and jump back in the quad track here and wrap up a couple more passes on this headland. Now I'm going to go ahead and get us a GPS track running here, help keep us going on the straight, and hopefully be a little bit efficient so we're not uh, overlapping quite so much as we come down the next pass here at least. We're doing all right though. A little bit of overlap isn't going to kill us. And I can see we've got the baling tractor already here at the corner so we're gonna be 
in a really good spot here as soon as our bale trailer gets back we'll be able to pick up the rest of the bales on this headland and really start going to town here on the other end of the field and it looks like our other tillage tool has arrived just in time i'm gonna go ahead and uh skip past this a little bit and let that baler pick up some of this uh pile that we got sitting on the end here and get going on his next lap And just like that, we've got two passes of our headland done. I'm going to whip around here, and we should be able to actually take the third pass off here without clipping any of these bales. And once I get to the corner here, hopefully our bale trailer is going to be done getting up to the sell point, and we can start heading back down here so that we can really get this uh, project moving. So I think what we're going to do is actually park this thing here and have him start working on the other end here. Once we get these bales cleared off, we've got the big tillage tool. We can take one more pass down here to finish our headlands. So let's go find our truck. So in a little bit of an ironic situation, we're almost out of fuel with our pickup here. Even though he has 250 gallons of... Uh, diesel in the back here we're gonna have to run up to town to fill up some more diesel now i guess technically what i've got in the back of the truck is uh farm diesel tractor diesel so we probably shouldn't put it in the truck anyway um i know a lot of guys that do but uh we're gonna just run into town here real quick and top the truck off before we head back out to the field now the real question is is where is the fuel trigger i think it's gonna be right here there we go good first guess it was the uh first fuel tanks i saw sitting out here so we're gonna go ahead and top up the truck here 132 dollars to fill up a pickup truck feels about right with the uh current fuel prices So let's go ahead and get this guy set up to head to field 68. I am going to turn on my route settings here. I think we've got a good route right up here to get back over there. So we're going to go ahead and head down to the corner here and just make sure this is the one that has a, uh, a right hand turn. Yeah, right here. This is the route I want to be on. Jumping back over here to field 68. We're almost done with our second headland pass here. So this will time out perfectly. Let's go ahead and jump into this quad track here and get working on these up and down rows real quick. We'll go ahead and just take this pass up to the north here while we wait for that bale trailer to get all the way back down here. At the moment, the bale trailer does seem to be the slowest piece of the equation at the moment uh, but we've definitely improved the situation greatly by getting that auto load trailer so i have no regrets about that one and as soon as we get these headlands off here i think things are going to go a lot faster because i'm going to be able to put uh the tillage implement here on a worker and i think definitely stay ahead of him uh picking up these bales because uh, the bales, once we start taking things off here, we're actually clearing up multiple combine passes per row now because we've already picked up the bulk of the bales on the first half of this field. So we'll just uh, start heading down here. We'll take the first pass like we did on the other end. And as soon as that bale trailer gets down here, we'll get him to come down to this corner as well and pick up this handful of bales that we've still got on the headland. Get everything going for tillage here automatically. Man, our uh, bale trailer and truck are getting absolutely caked in dirt here. We're gonna have to uh, do something with these pretty soon. He did not uh, register as getting to the field here because we have a tractor parked in the way, so we'll have to get that uh, tractor moved out of the way for future runs so that i can make sure i get a notification when we're ready to start uh picking up bales again 
And since my goal is to clear the headlands here, we're going to run all the way down here and get these handful of bales off of the headlands so that as we're turning around and doing stuff, they're not in the way. And I'm going to run all the way down here to the other end of the field and pick up the headlands on that end as well just to uh, be able to get this tillage stuff running. I don't want to waste too much of my capacity. I wouldn't have made it all the way to the end of the field here if I was picking up all the bales on the way down. So I think it's more important to get the rest of the uh, jobs running here automatically uh, first and then start working on getting ahead of the tillage. But this will give us just a little bit more things that we can do hands-on ourselves here as we're getting everything set up. Perfect. We've got room for just a few more of these bales, so we will start working our way on the west side here just to grab what we can. Boom. Just like that. Let's uh, get to the end of the field here, and we will set us off on auto drive. Animal dealer, here we come. So before we forget, let's get this tractor pulled out of the way here. Make sure that uh, we're able to see when that pickup comes back. And then let's hop up here into the quad track and get this next headland off. I think what I like most about this piece of tillage is it goes 13, 14 miles an hour here which is a nice change of pace. A lot of tillage goes a lot slower. And so our other implement, while it's quite a bit wider and I think probably more efficient, I think it probably covers more acres in the same amount of time. It just feels slower because you're not driving as fast. So I like these high speed implements like this where you get to drive a little bit faster, even if it is a bit narrower. Much like the other end, I think my plan is to take three passes off here on this end. So we're gonna go ahead and just get spun around here. And we actually may even be able to take four passes off of this end with this implement. Just to make things easier, we do have the telephone poles on this end. So if we whack into one of those, it's gonna cause us a lot of grief. Where the other end, we had a nice grass ditch and a road that we could uh, technically uh, kind of go off onto if we needed more room on the headland to turn around. So I wasn't too terribly worried about it. And as you can see, our baler tractor is already working its way back into the middle of the field from the west side. And it looks like our Ford Super Duty has reached the animal dealer. So we're going to switch up there and keep him moving. All right, we got him all dealt with. So let's go ahead and finish up this headland. I'm loving seeing that baler whip around and do his thing. I'm just hoping he doesn't drop that bale out of the back right on our headland. That would potentially cause us a little bit of grief. And we've got kind of a hard time turning around here to get our headland passes done. I probably should have followed this curve around and taken a little bit of space off along these trees. I think we'll do that real quick just so I don't have to keep uh, messing around here. We'll follow this all the way around this curve once, I think just to give us some space as we get the rest of things moving here. There we go. And that gives us plenty of space to pull back into this track, even if our camera gets lost in the trees. And we might lose just a couple of feet on the end rows here of our straw. That's all right. I'd rather get this headland pass off and be done with it. So with this being the last of the headland passes, the plan is to zip around here and uh, have him start working on the long rows. And it looks like our Super Duty is back and ready to pick up more bales. So we'll be picking up these bales and trying to stay ahead of the tillage here and hopefully get far enough ahead where we can justify starting off the next worker. So I'm going to go ahead and hire a normal base game helper here to get going on this tillage we're gonna jump back in that bale truck and see if we can speed that along looks like he'll have at least two more passes here while we wait for the baler to come and get this next row the baler does have to work on the lands mode kind of like the combines did and so it'll be uh 
a minute before he gets back to do this next pass since he's heading up somewhere way over there. But in theory, once we finish that land chunk, we'll have a giant uh, pass here that's been all cleared out and uh, bailed. And hopefully if we can stay ahead of things like it looks like we're going to be able to, we should uh, be able to start the second piece of tillage here off at that point, which seems like it'll be after I get a couple more rounds done with the uh, bale trailer here. Oh yeah, we're going to be able to clear off this pass too, which will be perfect for us. Pick up just a few more bales in this next run. Let's uh, go ahead and get this guy going back up to the animal dealer. Rinse and repeat. We're definitely going to be able to keep up with one tillage tool, I think. As soon as our bale trailer gets back, the real proof will be, can we keep up with both of them? So, I think you guys have got a pretty good feeling for what I'm going to be doing for the next little bit. So we're going to go ahead and keep trucking on this, keep uh, working on getting the tillage and baling done here on this field, and we'll check back in next episode. That's all for today. Ketterk out. Why? Why are there so many bales? Don't. It looks like we're stuck on a tree, folks. Um, so we should be in a pretty good spot. Oh, we missed some bales. And we'll be able to clean up that far end before we bring the, everything down to this end. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we missed a bale on the headland here. We've got one just sitting there. Well, that's going to be a problem. It's only a problem if you don't have super strength. Boom. Nobody will notice. Oh, man. We were, uh... Definitely not fast enough. But hey, look at this. I'm going to get a whole stack full in about five seconds. Oh, whoa, stop. At least let me get out of the way. You might not care about the bales, but come on, man. Come on.